What? Hey. What's hey. this? Did you tell me you took him out? The court out? said yes. Yeah, but what did the doctor say? Can I do an interview for a school project on mental illness? No. I'm ready. I feel motivated. I don't feel so angry all the time. The whole time you're rooting for this Hemingway guy to survive the war and to be with the woman that he loves. It's four o'clock in the morning, Pat. I can't apologize. I will apologize on behalf of Ernest Hemingway, because that's who's to blame here. Yeah, have Ernest Hemingway call us and apologize to us, too. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Everyone's Critic. This is Spencer Fawcett, and I'm going to be talking about Silver Linings Playbook. Silver Linings Playbook is about a man who spends time in a mental institution after an ugly divorce with his wife. Uh, and once he gets out, he tries to navigate life. Uh, he lives with his parents. And eventually he meets a woman who has some mental problems of her own. And it, they spark up a sort of friendship and then things escalate from there. And it's really good. So let's take a look. Pat, you have to have a strategy. I hate my illness, and I want to control it. I hope you're okay with Veronica's sister coming over. Tiffany and Tommy? Just Tiffany. What happened to Tommy? He died. How did he die? Please, don't bring it up. Hey, Tiffany. This is Pat. You look nice. Thank you. How'd Tommy die? Oh. What meds are you on? I used to be on lithium and Seroquel. I was on Xanax. You ever take Klonopin? Klonopin, yeah. Well, I guess I was. I'm tired. I want to go. Are you going to walk me home or what? You have poor social skills. You have a problem. I have a problem? Mm -hmm. You say more inappropriate things than appropriate things. Doc, she's crazy. Hey! Whoa, what the hell? She knew where I was. She followed me. Then why don't you run somewhere else? Calm down, crazy. Maybe she just needs a friend. You want to have dinner at this diner? Pick me up at 7.30. So how's your job? I just got fired, actually. Oh, really? How? By having sex with everybody in the office. Everybody? I was very depressed after Tommy died. We well, don't have to talk about that. Thanks. How many were there? Oh, well, she's a mess. You gotta be careful. She does a lot of therapy. I go to a lot of therapy. Am I messed up? I just gotta get a strategy, you know? Me too. So there's this dance thing. I can only do it if I have a partner. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna dance with you. So is this the girl you wrote about? You wrote about me? She's fine. She is my friend with an F. A capital F. She's fine. For friend. What are you so up about? I'm happy. Look, I'm my best self today, and I think she's her best self, and that's a good thing. Lost in my mind, lost in my mind, oh, I... I know you don't want to listen to your father, I don't listen to mine, but life reaches out with a moment like this. It's a sin if you don't reach back. This is what I believe to be true. You have to do everything you can, and if you stay positive, you have a shot at a silver lining. Yeah, there is a lot to like about this movie. Uh, it's hilarious at times and heartbreaking at other times it's a very good portrayal of mental illness uh, mental illness isn't always portrayed in the most accurate and most respectful way in movies um, and here I think it does it really well it it kind of shows these two people trying to get better and how beneficial their friendship is to each other uh, the acting is very good in this. Uh, Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence, who played the two leads, are very good. Jennifer Lawrence, who won an Oscar for this movie. She was only, like, 22 at the time or something like that. Uh, she was very good. And uh, Robert De Niro, who, after a string of terrible movies and terrible performances, gives this great performance as uh, Bradley Cooper's father. He's incredible in this. Um... He has his own mental issues, he's dealing with obsessive compulsive disorder, and he kind of denies it, uh, so that was really good, uh, you know, his best performance in I don't know how long, uh, you know, he held that until, like, this, uh, until 2019 with Joker and the Irishman, but, uh, yeah, he was very good in, uh, Silver Linings Playbook. Uh, the screenplay is very good, there's a lot of really, really good dialogue, really sharp dialogue, and, uh, like I said, it's very funny at times, and it also it knows how to balance humor and sadness and despair and all that, and it does it in a very effective way. Um, yeah, it's it's very good. Um, as far as complaints go, I guess there could be cliches here and there, because um, I. I 
above all, this is kind of a romantic comedy, and they're, every romantic comedy made is, uh, is bound to have some cliches, and this is no exception to that. Um, but, yeah, this movie, other than that, it's fantastic. It's incredible. Um, David O. Russell, who also did uh, The Fighter and American Hustle, which also starred Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence, uh, he does a very good job with directing here. The story is fascinating to me. On paper, it might seem a little... Uh, not over the top, but a little too complicated and uh, confused, but its execution is it's fantastic. Um, and it's a story that I feel needs to be told. It, it, these kind of stories aren't told enough about people trying to live with mental illness, and I think that this is a great portrayal of that. Uh, it's very entertaining. Uh, you're never bored in it. It's about two hours long, and you don't really feel that time, it just kind of goes along smoothly, there's a lot that happens in it, and it's not, it doesn't waterboard you with it, it just kind of tells it the way it needs to be told, and that was, that was very good, uh, rewatchable, yeah, um, I, th I think this is a good movie to rewatch, uh, there are special occasions that would, that, uh, the movie would be, a nice, a nice watch for like a date night this is a good date night movie um even if it does get a little dark at times it's still it still has lighthearted humor it has some dark humor it's it's a very very good movie a fun movie at times i definitely recommend it uh i think most people should see this movie i think i think this is a movie that just needs to be seen i think it's an important movie it's not one that's made every day uh, I would definitely recommend it. So, overall, I give it a nine and a half. Definitely check it out if you can. It's very good. I think it's on Netflix right now. So, if you have Netflix, I recommend this. Uh, so, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.